good morning dear students today we are going to learn the last poem of this hornbill book in class plus 1 father to son father to son written by elizabeth jennings so first we discuss something about the poet actually this elizabeth jennings was an english poet okay was an english poet who was born in 20 1926 and died in 2001 okay and uh, actually by profession she was a librarian okay she took interest in literature took interest in literature especially in english okay english literature and composed some great work of art great work of art out of which this father to son is one of the best work of her okay and now simple thing about her diction diction means language what kind of standard she uh, adopted simplicity in her writing okay one thing is simplicity second depth of social aspects okay so these things we will see in her poem father to son now what the poem is all about the poem is actually is about a relationship of whom father and son as the title itself tells us father and son and it also focuses this poem also focuses lack of understanding between these two and rapo okay of oh, father and son fine and the father a father wishes for the same relationship as they enjoy as means they both of them they enjoyed in his childhood in his childhood fine actually dear students in this particular relationship we will see one thing that is generation gap how do one generation how does one generation uh, get change to second one and what kind of changes take place we will see in this poem okay and this relationship is quite appropriate by keeping in view the modern relationship of father and son got it here uh, now i just talk about uh, stanza we have four stanzas first stanza it talks about uh, you can say the father does not understand the child does not understand the child okay second one he talks about they live like strangers if they do, do not talk they live under the same roof okay and uh, third stanza talks about uh silence prodigal part of his character or life okay and the sorrow of the, pa- the father feels in the sorrow the father feels and fourth stanza the father is ready to feel sorry okay 
and he wants to rebuild the relationship he wants to rebuild the relationship fine so these are the four parts of the poem that we will discuss today fine so let's come to the poem and we read this poem stanza wise so father to son by elizabeth and jenny elizabeth jenny so the writer means any uh, elizabeth jennings as a narrator or as a father says i do not understand this child the very first line says that the father says i do not understand my son this child though we have lived together even though both of them they are living together now at present in the same house for years for many years they have been living in the same house since his childhood you can say uh, but still right now there is no understanding between both the characters i know nothing of him so the father says i do not know what kind of the child has become right now and what does he want so try to build up relationship the father wants to uh, build up strengthen the relationship from how he was when small means whatever the level of attachment affection love was there in her in his childhood of means childhood means the childhood of the son in his childhood the same kind of relationship the father wants to construct father wants to make that relationship that much stronger yet have i killed the seed i spent on or shown it to where the land is his and none of mine yet have i killed the father ask a question have i killed the seed seed means the birth or the born or the childhood of the child i spent or shown it where the land is his the father says i have shown a seed where the land is his seed is mine no doubt and land is his refers to what means the relationship where the father wants to make is from father's side but will benefit to whom the son but will give something uh, good to son and none of mine where the father says there is nothing that belongs to me everything belongs to him in terms of uh, you can say property and all but only the love that refers to father then we speak like stranger here at this house they speak like stranger there is no sign of understanding in the air and there is nothing between them that can make a platform to make them stand on one level and let them talk discuss something but there is no level of understanding between these two characters the child is built to my design the child is built to my design means what here the son is father's dream child okay and uh, the father uh, perhaps takes after him very well and has been brought up on the lines of whatever the father wanted okay the father does not only brought him up according to his own wishes or design or pattern but also had designed on him means to say that a plan for a wonderful life for his son okay yet what he loves i cannot share the father says what is the wish of my child i cannot share with you readers with us means to say means there are there, there might be two things one the father cannot reach to the level of the wishes of the child one second one might be the father wants to hide something from us from readers like us okay so here this is the thing then silence surrounds us they like they speak like strangers so most of the time they do not talk okay even though they are living in the same house so that's why silence surrounds us most of the time there is a silence between both of them i would have him prodigal prodigal means wasteful of one's means 
extravagant you can say the person who uh, wastes money a lot returning to his father's house i would have him prodigal means here there is a reference of the biblical story this him as is capital he, him refer to god bible story of the prodigal son who is accepted and accommodated by father in spite of having squander all money that he had taken away this story there is a story related to bible in which uh, there is a son who has uh, wasted the money taken from his father so this him refer to that child in the same way the child is also there father is also there so that is the thing his father house so whatever the child has taken from his father he has wasted everything in terms of money the home he knew in the same house they are living rather than see him make and move his world okay rather than see him make and move his world so to to meet him and to talk to him in this world it is his own world whose world this is this is child his own world i would forgive him too the father says if he comes to me i will uh, forgive him okay i will accept his coming to me saving from sorrow a new love and i hope if he comes then i will forgive him then all kind of sorrows pain they will be taken away and this relationship will be in a new love then fourth stanza father and son we both must live on the same globe same globe means same earth father and son both of they are living on the same earth and the same land fine he speaks i cannot understand myself the child says i cannot understand myself why anger grows from grief there might be some point in the relationship where only the anger was there anger from whose side child side because the child could not understand the level of life or the uh, experience that's why there was a grief but the anger grows up and in turns into grief a pain and now the pain has become a big thing that's why there is a gap between both of them then we each put out an empty hand both both of them father and son both of them they are empty handed longing for something to forgive both of them they want that so one should come to forgive each other and to make a relationship so there is one important thing the why anger grows from grief there is usually an element of self pity self pity means the person who feels something himself when one is in a state of grief state of in a condition of in a situation of grief there is a feeling that one is victim of undeserved injustice and suffering so one person loses temper and thus the anger grows from grief it results from grief means this grief has come from anger so likewise it is being told in this poem lastly that both of them they are empty handed even though both of them they want to make a good relationship but due to certain reasons like grief and anger they could not come up okay so this is the thing now let's talk about theme of this poem theme this poem deals with the theme of deterioration and in is treatment of human relationship even such close relationship father and son they really have a close relationship as that of father and son changing values or lifestyle generation gap i told you generation gap is the main point of this poem generation growth or clash of personalities or faulty upbringing or bad influence whatever be the reasons there might be many reasons like changing values or lifestyle generation gap class of personalities faulty upbringing bad social influence any one might be the reason the relationship are breaking up this leaves the people sharing the relationship shattered means they become alone and unfulfilled 
द रिजल्ट इज ग्रीफ एंगर एंड फर्दर एलियनेशन एलियन लॉन्स द पोएट एलिजाबेथ जेनिंग लॉन्ग्स फॉर विश इज फॉर अ री अप्रोचमेंट एंड अ हीलिंग टच ऑफ द रिलेशनशिप बाय द एंड ऑफ द पॉइंट वी कम टू नो द पोएट हर सेल्फ वॉन्ट्स टू मेक रिलेशनशिप बेटर देन एवर अनफॉर्चुनेटली अ चिलिंग साइलेंस इज ऑल दैट प्रिवेल्स इन द रिलेशनशिप अनफॉर्चुनेटली द साइलेंस दैट क्रिएट्स ऑल काइंड ऑफ डिस्टर्बेंस सो दिस इज द थिंग दैट हैज बिन डिस्कस इन द थीमेटिक पार्ट ऑफ दिस पॉइंट सो डी स्टूडेंट्स दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स एंड अदर एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चन वी विल डिस्कस इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन टेक केयर गुड बाय